Okay, this is part two of the 41 sales bulletin. So I brought the 41 FL out to go over it, talk about it. So again, we have our seven inch air cleaner. 41 still had short knurled Eaton's. This is a non-chrome package bike. So everything was black, flash bars were black. Tail light, luggage rack if you wanted it. Colored dash, do your paint job. And again, unless the dealer or somebody requested it, it would have come with a black headlight. That doesn't mean it wasn't bought new with the, that light, but somebody had to request it specifically to be put on, or it wouldn't have been. There goes my lovely lights. So let's go back over to our book. Here, our booklet, if you will. We're on page eight. Left side of the 80 side valve for 1941. Again, you can tell the black tail light here. The black headlight. The transmission oil filler plug has been lengthened and positioned relocated to permit easy accessibility. The gearbox is 7 16 wider to accommodate the new and bigger gears. The chain line has been moved out of a corresponding 7 16 all stupid ass important stuff. The front inner chain guard is now made in one piece and provides better protection against dirt and water. And front chain guard lubrication is improved. The outer chain guard has also been changed to accommodate the new clutch and a better seal between outer and inner chain guards results. The rear end of the chain guard now clamps rigidly to the frame instead of to the transmission as formerly. That's interesting. I've never seen that. I think that's a misprint, I guess. I don't know, I've never, I've never seen a bike with that. That's wild. Anyhow, well, they've all been changed, don't know. The clutch releasing mechanism on the 45 twins, we're going with the improved 45 clutch releasing mechanism here, big exclamation point. Civic cars have been greatly improved and simplified, and a surprising degree of smoothness in operation is attained. Adjusting and servicing have been made easy. The clutch release lever has been made larger and straight in shape, as contrasted with the former curved lever. A grease fitting is provided on the lower end for easy lubrication of bearing. So there's a big lever that goes like this. I probably have a picture, and it's talking about a 41. You have a big zert there. Part of 41, evidently, you didn't have that. I'm not a 45 guy, so news to me. The stranded steel cable now connects the clutch foot pedal and the clutch release lever. The cable runs in a seamless steel tubing and shacks as a guide. Many parts have been eliminated. Appearance has been enhanced. Greater strength and long life has, are attained. The clutch push rod bearing has been increased in size and is better shielded to keep out dirt and retain its lubrication. In conjunction with the new 45 clutch and its lower spring load, the new clutch releasing mechanism makes for smooth, easy shifting. Braking area has been increased 44% on the 45 twin rear brake. Very interesting. Here's the right side of the 80 side valve for 41. And you can see the black and the stainless trim. The muffler. New speed lined quiet muffler on big twins. A 19 one feature on the big twins is that it is immediately discernible as the new Large diameter speed line muffler with a racy appearing fin band. Here is a sturdily constructed muffler, greatly improved in appearance. It does a real job in muffling the exhaust and yet back pressure is reduced. A perforated steel tube runs through the length of the muffler. The halfway mark this tube is blocked, forcing the gases through the perforations into the outer chamber and then back into the rear section of the tube and out through the bullet end that blends into a curved fishtail. See this is curved right there. There is no steel wool to disintegrate, burn, and blow out. The longer effective length of this new muffler plus its greater diameter help reduce the crack of the exhaust, giving it a lower tone than formerly. Here's a substantial trouble-free muffler that is sure to meet with much favor. New easily read airplane style speedometer dial. And uh, again, let's go look at our speedo.
Okay, here's a nicely weathered Speedo on our 41, and we're going to go over to our 42. This Speedo was used till 46. So just to give you a, a refresher of what they're talking about. Every model in the 1941 line is distinguished with the new easily read speedometer dial of distinctive airplane styling. A graceful white pointer with triangular sides is mounted over a black face with large silver numerals. Not only is this new speedometer dial more easily read in the daytime, but the white triangular sides of the pointer pick up the light rays from the light source at the bottom and, making, and make dial reading easy at night. The glass or bezel is also known, covering the dials from a longer flap is now slightly convex. The new dial is not only a great improvement from the standpoint of visibility, but as a decidedly fresh, flashy modern note has been added to the entire speedometer assembly. This is the left side of the 61 overhead valve for 41. Again, it's optional 16s. This is the standard model without the chrome package. Front and rear brakes and 45 twin greatly improved. An additional safety factor has been incorporated in the 45 twins by a number of very important brake improvements. The extension of the chain line of the 45 twins has made it possible to increase the width of the rear brake drum, the brake shoe and lining. The top of the brake lever arm has been offset to allow for the increased width of the brake drum, thus maintaining the lever in its former position. Braking area has been increased 44%. Brake lining life has been narrowly lengthened because heat is now dissipated over a larger surface. The new rear brake operates smoothly, is free from chatter, and is decidedly efficient. The use of heavier gauge metal and a slight change in shape have greatly strengthened the front brake shell in the 45 twins. The stiffer shell prevents distortion of the wheel after it has been spoked and trued. New positive grip handbrake lever. Again, that is the lever here. What they're discussing the earlier lever which we have all this off of the 38 right now that's uh hold around here somewhere but uh, let's go find one so you can see the difference the earlier lever used up to 40 is That's our on greening. So, our earlier lever and our late lever has changed. All the 1941 Harley Davidsons feature a positive grip handbrake lever of entirely new design. The new lever, made of die cast aluminum, is longer, fits the hand just right provides greater leverage. The lever bracket is also die-cast aluminum. The rotating set at the pivot point of the lever permits the cable to enter the conduit without kinking or bending. and eliminates cable abrasion and wear. In addition to being efficient, the new hand lever is decidedly classy in appearance. Larger, more efficient air cleaner obtainable on all models. This was extra money. This was three bucks. Or you had just an air horn. Of course, you can get the six inch if you preferred. Redesigned clutch foot lever assembly on big twins. The bearing on the big twin clutch foot lever has been redesigned to obtain smoother operating action. It is longer and can carry an increased pull on the clutch. Wear has been minimized. The clutch release lever is now made in one piece instead of being brazed and welded on as formerly. And it has an upset end. The lever is much stronger and sturdier. Here's the right side of 74 overhead valve for 1941. And let's refresh back here. Left side overhead valve. Once again, you can totally see the shore rib cage and different rocker clutch. Very obvious. 
larger, more efficient air cleaner. The air cleaner available in the sport cell and deluxe level groups, while the same design as formerly, has been increased to full inch in diameter and combines greater efficiency with greater beauty. The increased diameter makes possible the use of a larger air cleaning pack with consequent decrease in the velocity of the incoming air. Oil is retained longer in the mesh pack and is not drawn into the carburetor. The cleaner position has been moved down so carburetor adjustments can be made more easily. Now again, this was a mid-year change in 40. Didn't come into literature besides various photos, but as far as, as, as far as I'm aware, any pamphlet or booklet, I've never seen any in 40 uh, until now. But most of this stuff is gone, so it could very easily have been done and nobody has it or is talking about it. Additional advancements on all models. Scuffing and the formation of ridges in the cylinder walls of all 1941 motors will be greatly reduced by the use of oxide-coated piston rings. Longer ring life results in better motor performance naturally follows. Gear shift levers are now made from a special steel that is cyanide-hardened. I bet they do that now. Cyanide-hardened? Uh-huh. The new levers do not wear and cut through at the gate. Batteries are now grounded on the frame, where heretofore they were grounded on one side of the oil lines. A better and more satisfactory ground for the battery is secured. Now, <clears throat> let's go take a look. I'm talking about this right here, the ground. A lot of mid-year changes in 40. And we have a ground on this one. Forget where we put it. Oh, everything's out of it right now. But it's not here. So, and I've had this bike running. Put about a thousand miles on it. You know, greeny here. Here's our ground, right here. So, <clears throat> anyhow, so that's there. I'm not going to swear to it that they didn't have some of the 40s with this style here, because a lot of this stuff was done mid-year. So I wanted to check on my two and see, but by 41, okay, this is what we're doing, guys. That's what they did. So, police radio carrier is set further forward and lower. A lot of cop bikes did not have this. A lot of cop precincts did not have that. That was all an option. Here's your foot control, and we're going to continue this. I'm going to call.